What is going on guys? Today we are looking at EAFC 24 to find out where do you get international kits? Badges, kits, the whole lot. And in obviously the previous FIFAs, we have had to wait until they got the license. Obviously last year, it was during the World Cup, they managed to update quite a lot. This year, if you've seen at the start, you can actually get the kits right now. I think if you go into club as well, if you've obviously had a look at what you've got, if we go to stadiums, you can see what uh, kind of kits you've got already. Obviously, we have chosen from the first set. We managed to get Argentina's home, which leads me to believe that they are on the market right now. The question is, have they changed the ability to actually see them on the transfer market any better? Because I swear that in FIFA... 1920 or around that era we had an international league to be able to click on so normally what you want to do is i've completely talked over that if you go into the main setting so you should be on news or objectives or something when you log in go over to transfers click a and it will send you to obviously transfer market transfer list or transfer target so you want to go into transfer market and as you go from there you want to go into stadiums you might be on players but stadiums is the way to go press a on the badge if you obviously want the international badge i'll show you that in a second but as kits are the first one this is where you want to go so obviously authentic so you got two options authentic custom and any we want to go with the authentic this is just a standard um, again there might be some more later on down the line that actually become special but we are obviously looking at the gold ones so straight off the bat obviously we've got kick selected have they got an international so we'll go uh, alphabetical yeah that looks about right do we go there so i i is normally what it's under I can't, it doesn't look like it again, so we've got, uh, yeah, so it looks like we are going to have to do, again, the normal way of doing this, so unfortunately, it may be a little bit of a, a kind of tricky situation, because I know the colour 1 and colour 2 doesn't necessarily work the greatest, so say I was looking for, we're looking for France, I'd go blue as the primary colour, that should be about right, Obviously, being the game uh, kind of out straight away, I'll go 600 to start with. So we should be able to just go through. We got the Argentina away. If you obviously... There it is. France. Beautiful. So if you obviously do find it from here, again, it can be a little bit of a task. But if you press X on compare, you'll be able to see what is on the market. And you'll be able to get it. So as we see there, 550. That'll probably be about the cheapest you're going to find it. Because obviously, any rare kit of gold standard discards for 450. So if you see it at 5 500, 550, 600, just buy it at that sort of price because it's not going to be a problem as really you're not going to find it any lower. Obviously with the Argentina kit, again, you can do the same. I'm wondering if we could do, if we go white and blue, I, I would assume that would be England's home kit. Again, it depends on what they're going with. So Argentina's obviously the shout there. Whether England's on here straight away as a non-5K kit, because I feel like that one could be. Let's go ahead and just make these changes. Obviously, every time that you do back out, unfortunately, you do have to put the kit back in as well. So you have to put the kit and then also the... Um, the What am I thinking? The quality. So you have to put the quality back in again. It's just something that's always happened. By the looks of it, some of the kits as well might be 5k discard. So if you want to comment down below what kit you're looking for, and if any of the comments have seen that kit or have got that kit, let them know down below and obviously I'll try my best. By the looks of it, England's not on there. Let's try, in fact, just as a one-off shot. If we put white and see if it's there, as obviously it could be, like I said, the colour 1 and 2 doesn't always necessarily work well. So I'm hoping that maybe it's just not working in that, that part. By the looks of it, we are seeing... That, I, I, just not pointing out Liverpool, that is horrendous. I do not like that green on Liverpool. Does not work in my eyes. Their home kit's much better. There it is. So yeah, so obviously I assume the blue would be the pro, uh, the secondary colour. Sometimes it doesn't work. So that just always make sure that you are testing both. I would normally just go with one colour realistically, the primary. So obviously if you are thinking, what's another colour? So say if we say... I'm literally blanked on all colours. Let's say red for Spain, maybe. Ooh, man, you kit's nice. We've got the AC Milan, we've got PSG. Because as you can see, the primary colour there, the colour one, is going to be PSG's red stripe. I'd have gone blue on that personally. But again, it's it depends what it is. I saw the England's away shirt there. 
uh, Spain, again, it might be a little bit of a look, but that is the, the way you do it. It's the best way you do it. We've got the Germany away kit in red as well, if you wanted to do that. It is the same principle for the badges as well. Again, you go to authentic. I would go to gold. This one might be a little bit easier because if, I, if you are looking for a primary color, there really normally is one big color that's in all of them. Obviously, with England, I believe last year I tried blue and it didn't pop up at all. Whereas, obviously, on this one, in the white, it does. And as we can see, they are a 5K. Oh, okay. No, no. So, this one's going to be a bit more tricky because badges are still glitched. So, if you try and uh, kind of change down that... It will say that there's none, but obviously, as we can see there, there is some. So the best way to do this, unfortunately, is by actually going down with the price. So if I see one for 2.4, I'm going to have to go ahead and have a look. So move the parameters a little bit by a little bit so we can see 2K. We can see 1K there. So what I'd do is I'd go with any. I'd maybe drop it down to 700, drop it down one there, and just have a look again. If you can't be bothered with that and just want to buy it, then all means go and do that. But that is the way you get international kits and badges.